What is good Space Cowboy Zero here and I am back bringing you another build with the Avantech mod and you can see here this is the build that I just previously released here of the Star Eagle rebuild. Uh, go check that out for sure. This was the first time I was kind of playing with this mod. If you haven't downloaded any mods from the Creation Station, this is a free mod. Uh, there's a couple mods I have here. One is the Avon Tech, uh, which is what I'm going to be playing around with. That is the sort of blue laser light. Uh, nice little pieces added here. Uh, there's also all ship mods, uh, or all ship pieces uh, as well, just to make it easy for when I'm building from my ship builder at my outpost but here we go I'm gonna show you this is gonna be a really quick one um, I have just been playing around uh, with a few things just trying to make some sort of TIE fighter build uh, we're just gonna use let's see let's just pull up let's just destroy this UC Civ shuttle here um, so we're gonna go ahead and just blank that one out here uh, I'm gonna show you just from scratch what we're gonna do. This is very simple build, not a lot of parts. It's only gonna cost in total about 300,000 credits or so. Uh, but we're gonna start with uh, our bay here at the bottom. Uh, like I said, it has this mod that I'm using has all of the structural parts, so there's a bunch of station pieces as well. Uh, haven't quite got into that yet. Uh, I was working with something that was trying to be about as small as possible, so I'm starting with the Shipbed 200 landing bay. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and build out from there. Uh, this is going to be a micro build, uh, so don't expect a lot of frills here. Whatever companion way you really care about, uh, I'm just putting demos because it is the first one and I'm not really concerned what this looks like. Companion ways are dumb. Uh, so let's go to our cockpits, and for the cockpit, I'm going to use the Himeji Command Bridge. And then let's go ahead and add a bit of cargo here on the back. And for that, I'm going to just add some shielded ballast cargo there. And let's go ahead and get our gear going on the front and back here. So for the back, we're going to use the NG-15. Uh, landing gear on the left and right and then down here on this little part right here we're going to use the pinpoint 3G landing gear alright so starting to sh take shape a little bit here for us uh, now where am I at here okay so we are gonna want a couple things here on top let's add a shielded cargo on the back here, let's go ahead and pop in our do, 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 reactor. We are going to use, we want a C-class reactor so we can have some of the C-class weapons. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and use the Avantech reactor. And it's going to stick us out a little bit in the back, but I think it'll be okay. And then let's go ahead and get our grab drive on here. And for the grab drive, I like the look of the Vanguard Recon. It's not the best grab drive, but it looks pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, down here, we're going to actually add in uh, our engines to the side here. And they're going to stick through uh, that landing gear, which should be okay. And we're going to add these even more binary engines. This is a TIE fighter build that I am basing this on here. So we're going to have twin ion engines here on the left and the right. Uh, and we're actually going to be putting some weapons here. So let's go ahead and put some structural pieces on each one of these engine mounts. Where are you at? Oh, that is not the right. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we have most of our basic pieces we have a oh, yeah, oh. actually you know what we forgot something uh, back behind this uh, shielded cargo we need to add some fuel tanks here so we're gonna add a even talk even tech large tank there and then we're gonna throw uh, that grab drive on the back that there okay okay so that is the base of our build here let's go ahead and add a few structural pieces to clean this up make it look 
a little pretty. I like the Nova cowling in front here. And then this is where we're gonna add a few more of the Avon Tech here. We're gonna add some Avon Tech. Um, ba -ba -bum -ba -ba. Where's our wings? Wing, wing, wing. That's what we want right there. The Avon Tech wing, just that lower pylon down there. Um, actually, you know what? We might wanna pull that aside for a second because we need to put on some weapons before we do that. It might cover up that. Um, on our left and right so with the uh left side i'm gonna go with my vanguard i'm sorry the obliterators here boom and obliterator here and then i'm gonna go vanguard here vanguard here and then let's do another vanguard there and let's do another obliterator there. And then let's add in some Adel Adel missiles. Where are you at? Where are you at? Adel Adel 2080Cs. I like those little guys. There we go. Okay, so there's our weapons package. Now we should be able to go ahead and add back in the... I'm going to actually pull that back a bit. I don't know. We might see. We might see if that looks better forward or aft. Um, let's go ahead and get our other wing there. Okay, so starting to take shape. And this is where we're going to start to look like a TIE fighter a bit here. There we go. And of course, we need a shield. Other way, other way, other way. Let's get the, again, I like the Vanguard look there. Uh, okay, so it says I have a couple errors. What did I miss? What did I forget? What ship's missing a docker? Right, 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 right. Okay, so to the bottom here, to this uh, companion way here, we are going to add uh, a slim docker. Boom, right there. Uh, we need to assign our weapons. We're going to do Vanguard to spot one. Obliterator spot, oops, a boop. Obliterator spot two, and then our missiles to spot three there. Uh, and nominal, there is the build. Uh, let's go ahead and give it some color. Uh, I want color one to be all the way in the black. And color two, let's give it some gray. Color three, a darker gray. that feel right maybe a bit dark for a tie fighter here maybe actually swap out color one maybe should be that gray color two should be the black maybe that feels more like a tie fighter ish color right there uh, and that's the build guys that is uh, my sort of tie fighter advanced build uh, great mobility 100 mobility 200 speed uh, it should have enough um, reactor power to power all of your weapons, engines, shields, etc. Um, you know, feel free to throw on other engines. You can actually throw on one on in the back here, right on the end of the reactor. Um, it would stick out a bit. Uh, you could also, if you really wanted to, throw on just one of the aesthetic engines. Uh, you've got way more engine space. You know, I could add several uh, more engines. Uh, to really boost up the speed on this, but you know, it's a TIE fighter, a twin ion engine fighter. So I've got the two ion engines, even though these are binary engines over here. Uh, and I've got tons of mobility and speed. Uh, it would be total overkill, I think. Uh, and we're running at a total of 363,000 credits. That is a pretty bargain buy for what I'm getting here. I mean, my particle weapons are 103 and 166. My missiles are 814. I have good hull, good shields. I mean, not great cargo, but it's all shielded. Uh, so, I mean, this is a good smuggler if I'm really just trying to run some contraband here. This is about as small, compact, and close to an actual TIE fighter as I could really uh, manage to squeeze this stuff in here. Um, of course, I am 
wildly interested to hear what you guys would do to this to change it around, move some parts, add in different components, uh, and show me what your build looks like. Uh, I love one thing I do with this channel is I like to just hear what people uh, have been doing, what they recommend. Uh, I am a casual novice player and so the more feedback that I get from people, uh, the better my game gets. So please share with me, what do you think? What would you do differently? What are some components you might add, swap out and change? Anyways, I'm gonna show you what this looks like here. We're gonna take a walk around the ship. Uh, we're gonna take it up into space and then we're going to see how it can handle uh, a couple of those snake lovers over in Serpentis. All right, so let's go ahead and make this our home ship now. And we are going to go ahead and board Look at that small profile. Ooh, way smaller than the Dark Star, that's for sure. I'm not really sure about this. I do like the pirate symbol. That's just really nice. I like the compact look. Um, I like that the uh, side wing shields, even though they were below the um, you know loading bay, uh, and they're into the ground here, you can see. Uh, it still didn't cause any errors. So I'm not really sure what the uh, actual piece mod, um, whoever coded that, uh, you know, that clearly is not an issue with, uh, you know, clipping into these uh, surfaces. Um, I like this little weapons package on the side. Uh, I amazing that these engine uh, these twin uh, these twin engines right here have uh, the ability to mount something else to the side uh, I love that um, nice tight weapons package there you know I'm amazed that I'm able to get all of those weapons onto such a small frame it has everything I need and beautiful I am loving the Avon tech if you haven't downloaded this mod you definitely should. It gives you a lot of new options. Um, I like the blue lighting on it. I wish that there was a way that I could actually change out the lighting. I would like to change it from blue to maybe like red, glowing red, like the interior of my loading bay, or that would match the uh, weapon skins. I would also love a mod, whoever's a modder out there, uh, to be able to actually reskin my weapons so that when I recolor my ship, these stupid weapons aren't standing out as white or whatever color that they they might be. I like the Vanguard color pattern. I mean, that's pretty nice on those. I mean, that's really nice, actually. Uh, but here is my Super Tie Advance. You know what? We should actually rename this. It's still called, like, the whatever ship I just dismantled, the UC Reef. or No, it wasn't the Reef. Let's give this puppy a name. What should we call her? Super Tie Advance? Darth... Darth Ride? Uh, I don't know what we should call this. I don't really know. I'm gonna have to... You know what? Leave me a comment below. What should I rename this thing? Right now we're just gonna call it the... Uh, Hi, X series. Uh, I need a better name. This is uh, not good enough. This is just off the top of my head. So, uh, all right, we're just gonna call it the Thai X series for now. Please leave a comment. Tell me what you would call this beautiful beast if you decide to build it for uh, yourself. All right, let's take her for a spin. Oops, 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 oops. Here we go. Uh, the inside is nothing, by the way. There is no hab modules at all. Uh, you'll just, you'll see as we load in, we're gonna go straight to, there's just two causeways. And right into the, oops, right into the bridge which my crew's a little cramped. They're all like, there's nowhere to go but the bridge. Sorry, suckas. I'd like to join you on your next trip out, if you don't mind. Oh, Andromeda, I would not mind at all. 
All right, let's get some. Look at that! Look at that beast! Oh man, I just feel like becoming a pirate now. I really don't do a lot of piracy in this game, but this this ship's making me feel like a pirate. All right, let's take off. See what that takeoff sequence looks like. How you doing, sweetie? Pressure holding. Nice. Very nice. Beautiful takeoff sequence there. Ah, Vader would be proud of this ship. Look at this thing. Oh, yes, yes. All right, so we're going to head to Serpentis. Uh, it is a pretty reliable place. If you do not know already, to run into a space encounter, I'm sure with the new update here, it will become an even more important location. It is like Christmas every day. Oh, oh no. Uh, let's go ahead and... Pop a couple into my grab drive so I can actually go somewhere. Alright, so let's see if she is space worthy or not. So we've got a boost speed of. Ooh, up to about 800. Very nimble. It can turn pretty well. So I am playing this on very hard right now. Just to give you a sense of how much damage these guys would be doing, how much damage I'm doing to them. Locked on. Not locked on. Uh, they never got through my shields. Um, I am not the best pilot in the world. I probably could have done a little bit more evasive maneuvers. Uh, those were two level mid-50 Serpentis Varun Raiders, and... I am on playing very hard, like I said. Not too bad. The ship has great movement. Um, you need something? Looks beautiful. Probably could benefit from some crew stations, <laughs> but um, there you go, guys. There is my take on the TIE Fighter with the Avon Tech mod. I highly recommend you guys go play around with this mod yourself. Tons of possibilities. Uh, there's several other ship part mods out there on the Creation uh, store right now. Uh, I'm having some troubles. There's a bug or whatever that I can't actually access the Creation store now. Every time I try to load it up, my whole game freezes and crashes. Um, so I'm really playing with just the ones that I downloaded the first time I got on the Creation store. I may have to do a full, complete uninstall and reinstall here soon. Uh, who knows? Uh, or hopefully they patch it up. But that is the Avon Tech TIE Fighter build. Man, I'm happy with this quick little build. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you do like the stuff I'm putting out, guys, you know, please uh, hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you feel like it. I'm not a super uh, consistent poster. It really depends on what my real life work schedule looks like and how much I can actually play. But uh, please enjoy. Go out, build for yourself. Fly safe. I'll check you in the next one. Cheers.